Hello, Fallout Gamers. I heard tell of the Fallout 4 downgrader from this Reddit post by Jay Cooper 203 which announced this wonderful tool by Zeratar, the Fallout 4 downgrader. This tool is pretty straightforward. It automatically downloads the depots and it can revert the creation kit and it automatically removes the creation club items. And this is based on your installation of Fallout 4. So if you only own certain DLCs, then you'll only copy the down the depots for the DLCs that were affected by the update. Uh, if you stay tuned, I will show how to use the tool to download the depots for your game. But I won't go into reverting the creation kit. You're going to go to the file tab of this mod and then you're going to download .NET 8.0 from this link. Now if you scroll down, I went and downloaded .NET Runtime 8.0.4, not the desktop runtime. Next you're going to open and run the exe. Press install and let it install on the system. Then click close. Then click your Fallout 4 Downgrader tab and manually download the first file. Now open the zip and extract the contents to any empty folder that you have on your system. It will automatically download to where your Fallout 4 directory is, the default one. Now once you got them extracted, just double click the ff4down.exe. And then let me pull it over here. And um, if you see, I don't have Fallout 4 installed in a default directory. So what you're going to do is re-download the whole game if you uninstalled it with the update. And then run the ff4down.exe again. Then next you're going to type in your Steam username and then your password. And you have to do this so, you know, they can't just give you a free game. And then once you get your credentials through, just wait for it to connect you. And then you should have a Steam Guard code sent to your email. Now you're going to copy this code and paste it into a notepad because you're going to have to manually type in this code into the console. Now this tool is not perfect, so you may need to reopen the console and keep logging in until it works. Um, right now I'm just showing you the first error I ran into after putting the code twice and then I had to redo the console. I probably should have just pressed escape to try again, but I just decided to reopen it and then log in again. So since I already put the Steam Guard code into the console, it remembers that from last time. So it'll log you in all the way. And then you should see this. I'm gonna let this run through so you can see what it should look like. And unfortunately around this time, I ran into a connection timeout. So I had to redo it all again. But luckily this tool will let you try, reconnect and do it all again. But I just decided to delete the depots and uh, redo everything again. So since I already um, did the login, it's gonna remember my uh, Steam Guard and log me in. And it's gonna re-download all the depots. It's not gonna like continue to where I left off prior to that because I deleted them. So if your connection times out, you can continue where you left off. I'm just a, a perfectionist and somewhat of a control freak. So I recorded the whole downloading and process of this tool and I decided to speed it up so you can look at the video and see at what point you are. And it does take a while.
So as you can see, it deleted all the Creation Club items added by the update. And if you have Mod Manager's path to your data directory, um, your mods should still work. And if you don't have F4FC, go to f4fc.silverlock.org and download the first archive and then open the zip and then drag the contents into your data folder which should be in your steam apps common and in fallout 4 and that's it um your game and all the dlc should be working okay so i hope this video helped you and it gets you back to playing fallout 4 with all your mods um safely have a fun time modding, and this is probably the last update I'll make on um, reverting Fallout 4 until F4SE is fixed, of course. Bye!